With the arithmetic operators and the bitwise operators, we mostly looked at expressions that could produce values, but didn't put them anywhere. This lesson is about storing values into variables, and there is more than one way to do it. In Java, you can use one of the combination operators to both perform a numeric operation, then store the results in a location. The simplest form of an assignment statement is the equal sign. Now, don't confuse this with the algebraic equal sign. It's not the same. This is an active language command. The expression evaluates B, then stores the result of that evaluation in a variable in a location in memory named A. The equal sign is more accurately known as the assignment operator. And there are special forms of it combined with other operations. In this example, the value of B is added to A instead of just being stored in A. The result is the same as if you had done this. But it's not just addition. You can combine the assignment operator with any of the arithmetic operations. Here's a complete list of the assignment operators. Now this combined form is more than just a shorthand. Computers actually do arithmetic with things directly in a location in memory, so when these operators first came about with the origin of the C language, it was more efficient to write things this way. It produced better code. But with modern optimizing compilers, you can write things any way you want, and the compiler will figure out the best way to do it. Now these assignment operators have a value just like any other operator. For example, look at this. This is an assignment into A, but what value gets assigned to A? Well, the value of C and B are multiplied together. The result is stored in B. The value of the multiply assignment operation is the value that was stored into B. So, that same value is stored in A by the assignment operator on the left. Here's one you'll see from time to time. The number 1 is stored in D, then C gets the result of that assignment, which is also 1, then B, then A. Every variable in the list has just been set to 1 with this single statement.